What's up guys? Recently, there's been a lot of controversy going on centered around Chandler Moore from Maverick City. He just had his wedding and posted some of the images online in which one of the images shows his newly wedded wife twerking on him. Now he has since apologized for posting the image, but made it clear that his wife isn't going to stop twerking on him anytime soon. This whole situation opened up an argument about whether it is ever okay for Christians to twerk. As most Christians know, we have beliefs when it comes to modesty and not being sexually provocative. As to how much we believe equals modesty differs though. Some people think wearing a nice shirt and shorts is modest enough while others think that one has to completely cover their shoulders and legs. Either way, we do somewhat agree that dressing extremely sexual isn't appropriate. But that's about clothing. What about twerking? Well, twerking is a pretty sexual dance move, and since we believe in the virtue of modesty, then yeah, I could see it as a no-no in Christian spaces. Fun fact, there actually was a pastor that held a twerking competition. So really, when it comes to twerking, yeah, I can understand most Christians seeing it as a sin, which is why Chandler Moore caught so much heat for his post. However, there's actually more to this than you think. To be clear, being sexy is not a sin. A man and woman can't help if they're naturally attractive. Also, being sexual is not a sin, as long as it's done in the right context. We know that there are certain behaviors that we should avoid and others that we should do. Actions that are sexual in nature that we know goes against God's wishes are of course sins. However, that doesn't mean that Christians can't have little Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay in their lives. That also means that there are also opportunities where twerking could be okay, even for a Christian. I'll try to explain it like this. A common practice that we believe that goes along with modesty is abstinence, meaning waiting until marriage to have sex. Whether you are successful or not, the moment you get married, then, hey! We know that having sex with your married partner is not a sin, and guess what else? However way you choose to have sex is not a sin either. Okay, maybe there's some out of this world stuff that could be, but for the most part, God gives us free range in how we want to pleasure our spouse. The biggest reason for this is that the Bible doesn't actually give us the do's and don'ts of how to have sex within a marriage. That part of the experience he gracefully leads to us to decide. So if literal sex is allowed within the context of a marriage, then I'm pretty sure that twerking is too. Basically what I'm saying is that Chandler Moore's wife twerking on him after their wedding wasn't sinful to me. Maybe posting it online to a Christian community wasn't the best choice, but whatever sexual act married couples decide to engage in, I personally believe it's okay. If anything, I would say that doing stuff in private and not in public spaces is probably the best option. But hey, if a Christian man or woman wants to throw it back on their husband or wife, then that's their way of adding some excitement into the mix. Anyways, that's my opinion on can Christians twerk. In certain situations, it's probably not something people want to do, but if you and your spouse are at home and feeling each other, then by all means, throw it in the circle, Sister Benice. But what do you guys think? Is it ever okay for Christians to twerk, even if it's with a married partner? And do you think that there are some situations other than being in a married setting where it would be okay for Christians to twerk? As always, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, yeah, love you and God bless.